Hey, what's up? I want to tell you this story about me and uh, a buddy of mine um, going out on the road. So, this was years ago. Um, I'm killing time right now making this video because this place isn't open. and um, So, I, I thought it's kind of a funny story and I wanted to tell you all. So, I... Uh, was split up from my first wife and I was single and that's a rare thing for me to ever be single so my buddy that I've known since the first grade he was single too so I said man go out on the road with me and we'll go and have a great time and we'll go down to Biloxi Mississippi to a place and we'll pick up a couple chicks you know have a good time so he's like hell yeah let's do it so we go up to, uh, I think it was Indiana or, or St. Louis or somewhere. We go and pick up this truck. It was a Volvo. And we had to repossess it from a lot. And when we got the truck, uh, the brakes was froze up on it, unlike any truck I've ever seen before, ever. I mean, the brakes was f screwed. All right, so uh, we had to call out a roadside mechanic he got the brakes unfroze but man we didn't even get three miles away and a brake shoe fell off of the truck i'm like holy shit that reduced our brakes by 50 percent stopping all right so i told my buddy i'm like screw it man we'll make it we're going to biloxi mississippi we're going to make it there all right so we get on down the road a little ways and we hear a clink clink Bing, 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 bing. and uh i'm like wonder what the hell that was and i did have a tow vehicle it was a uh 2000 i think it was a 2005 ford taurus and it was on a uh, demco tow dolly one of those self-steering tow dollies and uh, that's what i was using then and so we heard that noise and we pulled over and so we got to looking and I lost more brake parts. More brake parts fell off. I know you're not believing that I was shedding brake parts driving down the road. Trust me, I was. So then uh, that reduced my brakes down to practically nothing. And so we had to uh, get diesel fuel and we had to go to a, a truck stop. So we rolled into a Flying J and I cannot get the truck to sit still for us to uh, pull up and get diesel. Because once you set the brake, you pull the yellow knob, set the brake, there was no brake to hold the truck. I'm not kidding you. So my buddy, I said, okay, man, this is what we're going to do. You jump out, grab that giant rock and jam it up underneath the tires, and that'll hold us at the pump. So I pumped in the remainder amount of fuel that I assumed that it would take to do the run. And so then he he was the jump out guy. So he would run with a giant rock beside the truck, throw it in front of the tire, and that would stop me at the fuel pump. And so it would just do like like that. All right, so we're stopped at fuel pump, pump fuel in, he jumps back out. I, I take the tension off of the, the rock stop, is what we called it. And so, grab the rock, throw it in the front of the truck. We're going down the road. So, you're probably thinking, well, how did you stop at intersections and stoplights and stuff like that? Man, it was tricky as shit because the truck was an automatic. And it was a Volvo automatic. It was one of them old I-Force uh I drive or whatever they called the transmissions and so I would downshift it by using the 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 gas pedal so I would just like kind of pump the gas pedal and it would uh it would basically downshift the truck all the way almost down to a crawl so then uh like if I saw a stoplight I would downshift all the way down to where I'm crawling and then the light would turn green and then I'd punch it and so then I'd go. Well, we did that. 
for 340 miles, okay? So we, we drove overnight, and we stayed away from cities with traffic and, and all that stuff. And so this is when we threw in the towel, okay? I was going through a city. It was in, uh, it was daylight. It was a small titty, city, titty. Anyway, uh, so we made it 60 miles from the destination, and I almost rear-ended a cop. And I said, all right, man, I'm done. I'm not doing it no more. So we pulled into a Denny's. We called the place and told them they need to send us a tow truck to come and get this truck. They said, man, you're only 60 miles away. And I said, look, dude, I'm not driving it another foot. I said, it has no brakes. And we have a rock holding it so it won't roll off of Denny's parking lot. And so they're like, oh, yeah, it'll make it. I said, look here, buddy. You send your guy. Your guy comes here, gets in the truck, drives off. We're going to videotape him killing somebody. And that's the video that we're going to have today. Your, your, your driver killing somebody. So he's like, oh, no. So then he sends some guy, some jackass. He comes, picks up the truck, and he's like, oh, dude, this has no brakes. I'm like, yeah, that's what we've been telling you. They tow it on. All right, we get we get off that run. We get it delivered. And so then uh, I get my paperwork turned in. So we go to the Hard Rock Casino in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. <laughs> so there was a con they had a concert that night. And it was just me and my buddy sitting in this bar. It was only two guys in the whole bar. It was me and him. So then, uh, sorry about the camera. I'm trying to stay out of the sunlight. It's blinding me. So then uh, we get there to the casino, and we're the only two guys in the bar. I'm like, this is great, man. And so then the 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 concert lets out, and it was like some chick, you know, concert that all the chicks like the guy. I can't remember his name. He's not my type of music. But anyway, the parade of women was just inundating us in the bar we was only two guys so there was hundreds of women so i was telling my buddy i said you know i slapped uh 10 asses in five seconds and that was my record i was slapping asses we was getting drunk having a great old time well there's this this big old chick unattractive came up to me and she's like hey baby and all this stuff and i'm like uh you know i ain't i'm drunk but i ain't that drunk so i told her my buddy was over there he's talking to another chick and i told her i said hey you know why we're here don't you and she's like no and i said well i'm here with my buddy i drove him here he's shooting a porno and um he is known for his cock size. And I held up my arm and I said, his is that big around. And that's my forearm. And she, that's all she had to hear, buddy. And she took off running like she was running towards a free buffet. And my buddy, he said later on, he said, I seen you hold up your arm and I knew exactly what you said. And I told her that his cock is that long and that big around and flat run. So she ran over to him and she, she was all over him. And I was laughing. I got rid of her. And so <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I'm like, man, I, I'm too drunk. I'm going to the car. I'm going to sleep it off because the next day we're going to drive home. And so <laughs> about 30 minutes later, I wake up. I thought somebody was trying to get in my car. I whip out my big giant knife. I was going to skewer him. And so it was my buddy. He came back. I said, damn, dude, you was quick. He's like, no, nah, I couldn't bring myself to bang at that nasty chick. He's like, I just wasn't that drunk. And I'm like, damn, that sucks. It's a dry run for both of us. So long story short, we get in the car, we roll on home. And that was our story. But that was the longest I've ever drove with no brakes. It was 340 miles, no brakes, commercial vehicle, CDL, hanging. Y'all have a good one.
Be safe. Go out there and make some damn money.